execute I'm not going I'm just going to have you know, a default value to it Object. Okay. Okay. Next, we are going to have uh, a you know action delegate because action delegate what it does is you know it is going to take a um, it it is it can take parameters it may take parameters but it is not going to return a value as we can say it is not it is this is in what it is returning a word and you know uh, we have the object here as a parameter so here we are just going to do. Uh, action of object okay and I will say action and again you know I'm just going to say default of action object alright alright so we have uh, you know the I command interface implementation so we have taken two delegates why we are going to do that do this no, we are just going to see in a moment so let's create a constructor okay so whenever we want to create an instance of the relay command we can do that so uh, relay command constructor so what exactly we are going to do here so uh, in the relay command what we are going to do uh, let's accept a action of object and let's say uh, what we'll say we'll just say action okay so, and what exactly we're going to do here we are going to assign the inst whenever we're going to instantiate this method we are going to just we're going to pass the action from the object to you know the relay command uh, yes so this is what we're going to do um, it's taking one parameter uh, let's create another constructor of which takes uh, you know okay if you are thinking of the shortcut for creating a constructor it's just you know C T O R tap tap nothing much okay so uh, action we are going to say object and you know the second one we will say is a predicate okay I'm not given a name we'll just give them a name in a moment okay so we'll say again action and we will say get and we have and name this like this we will just change this to execute okay okay so what's next we are going to say sorry this dot execute equal to action and this dot can execute equal to predicate fine uh, what's the problem sorry it should be this underscore can execute okay yep so let's uh, reveal the solution and see yep yeah, so rebuild rebuild has succeeded so we are good now what exactly we are doing whenever uh, whenever you, uh, anyone is going to create a relay command object it needs a act it he can you know create an object by either passing the action or he can going to create the you know a relay command by having by passing action and pretty get okay so let's do one more thing here you know since you know it is only passing uh, so we will say here action uh, 
function come on then this is always good practice you know whenever we are we have more than one constructor and we are so we should initialize you know all the objects so i'm just doing it the second part of my time i'm passing it as a null it's fine so uh, let's uh, go ahead and start with our uh, can execute uh, right now it is just throwing a exception we don't want that we want something to happen so we will say return uh, you know underscore can execute so so we are going to check whether it is you know default of or let's see you know let's just say null for the moment then we'll see if then we are going to return true or uh, else what we are going to do say is can execute parameter okay yep so this is fine so execute what we're going to do instead execute we are going to say underscore sorry underscore execute parameter yep. this is what we are going to do here uh, so um, this is fine now we just have one thing uh, even handler can execute change we are just going to live it as it is right now we're not going to change anything we'll just uh, because we are just going to create a very simple and maybe application maybe we will have it and once we do video some later point of time uh, we can do that at that moment all right so our uh, relay command the command manager which is going to be used by our view model is ready all right so uh, okay so this is this is the structure this is a skeleton we are going to use whenever uh, you know mostly we are going to uh, do this you we're going to use this practice whenever we're going to create you know mbvm application and when we're going to create a command and use it in the view model all right so let's close it so now let's go to our uh, where we, we want to go so we have done command now let's go to command man uh, sorry model then so i'll just create uh, a new item okay so let's see uh, uh, let's name this class as customers okay customer not customers okay so all right so whenever we are creating a class you know uh, which is a entity class or which is going to hold your data so it's a good practice to mark it with uh, you know serializable attribute so you know we can have the persistence in place all right so what's next so uh, we have a customers class uh, next we are going to have you know uh, the customer details so what are the common properties uh, a customer can have it, it can have a name it can have an address it can have a age so these are the common properties of a customer why not right now
it so we are going to say protected void virtual uh, we are going to say oh, sorry I think I made a mistake protected virtual void property changed okay so, um, string of array params okay and we are just what's wrong sorry param string params So what we are going to do here, uh, we are going to call the uh, you know notifier property change. So if property change not equal to default of uh, property change event handler. Okay, then. Default of event. Okay, let's see here. What's the okay, property change event arguments? I think. What's wrong? So we have. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Property. Okay, property. How come I missed the why? Okay, still let's copy it. What's wrong again? What, what is there? Expression to evaluate. Still not getting it. Okay, okay, let's. I think it will be of type. Yes, property change event handler. Yep, this works fine. So, what we are going to say is for each each tab tab var params param in parameters. Okay. change event arguments what is the property change event arguments we'll see here okay uh, it's the property name it, it should be a string right let's <coughs> come back here and we will say param right no invalid arguments what it is exactly it's expecting so, uh, let's delete this okay it's expecting a property change event arguments so we'll see new property change event arguments okay and this is what expecting a string all right done so this is our base entity class which is uh, which is having a property change event so this is what we are going to have so whenever we are going to have a change in our model so it is using this we are going to notify okay okay you know you have been changed so let's our you know customer get it from 
the base entity so we can see here notify property change which is going to have a 